Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Panama flight number 983 with destination to Panama City. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Please fasten your seatbelt, don't smoke, and check your table or fall off. The flight that will be off. So my good friend Alejandro hit me up and invited me to go offshore fishing and he lives in Panama City, Panama. I didn't think too much of it at first, but then after he hit me up two more times and said, hey, I'm off all of November, please come out. I want to take you fishing. I bought my flight. We got a hotel that was in walking distance to the marina because we wanted to experience the city. So we woke up early, got our coffee, started walking. And when that sun came up, it was so hot. A little warm out here today, boys. We met Alejandro there in the morning. Very little wind, so we knew the seas were going to be nice and calm. Alejandro has an amazing Buddy Davis sport fish boat. And it was originally in the British Virgin Islands, and then came to Miami, and then someone brought it all the way to Panama, and that's where he bought it from. And he's in the process of restoring it. I can't wait to see it when it's done, because it's already a beautiful boat. As we were leaving, the skyline is just so gorgeous there. It reminded me of like a small New York City. So our plan is to go 20 to 30 miles offshore, find the debris line, and troll it from mahi, tuna, sailfish, maybe even marlin. We are in very good luck today because it's very calm seas, not much wind. And as you can see, the, the drift line is well marked. And that's the best way to catch mahi. You can see the break of the tide and actually you can see the decoloration of the water. Something very unique about the Pacific Ocean in Panama City is the debris line. There's just long him long the biggest trees I've ever seen in the water. It didn't take us long to find the debris line and it didn't take us long to catch some big mahi either. <laughs> One of our lines got wrapped around the prop. Our mate had to jump in and try to get it out. He actually saved the fish. He cut the line free. Hey, that's why you call this sport fishing. You never know what's gonna happen. So while the mate was working on getting the line untangled from the prop, my cameraman Mike was kind of bored, so he picked up a rod and threw a popper in the debris. I was up top so I could see where some mahi were, so I tried to direct him, and he threw it way past him but that mahi was so fired up, it charged his popper and hammered it. Crazy, been running laps and I've been on my job. Lately, they think we're weak, but I know that we're strong. They be talking cause they know we got the- Alejandro did a great job of showing us what the Pacific Ocean and Panama City has to offer. That I was so worn out, so dehydrated, so sunstroked, but we kind of came into the day beat up already because the day before we shot a music video, all day ripping, running, and gunning in the sun. But thank God for his sport fish boat because I ended up knocked out on that couch with a migraine. There was no amount of water that could rehydrate me. I drank two gallons of water that day, but it was too late. <laughs> you up there, bro. <laughs> Blown out. What? Woo! My son died. Look. Throwing it down today. Woo! And I'm still blown out. Cold and sweaty. <laughs> the AC. So after Alejandro saw me knocked out down in the cabin with a migraine, he decided just to bring the boat in, anchor it next to an island not too far from a marina and start counting all the mahi and start filleting them. Been here since I fell out in, so blessed. I wish I could have brought some back to Florida for all my friends and family, but we got to enjoy some amazing mahi tacos. Much love and respect to Alejandro for taking us offshore fishing. 
We can't wait to do it again. And maybe next time we'll get into some marlin, maybe some sailfish, some tuna, who knows? Thank you so much for watching our episode two of Winds and Waves. We can't wait to show you episode three. Put your light up, yeah. This your eye now. That we should rise up, yeah.